I play a Stingray bass, this USA model right here. It's an amazing bass. I love it. Tried a lot of different Stingrays. Nothing's quite like this one. I got very lucky. Another video all about that bass at another time. Where it is my main gigging bass, um, and I love the Stingrays, I wanted a backup. And I went out and got one of these Ray 24 CAs as a backup. I wanted something where I wouldn't worry as much as I worry about the USA model. If I needed to keep it in the car at night during a gig or in the back of the stage, just wanted something I didn't have to worry about. Also, I've always wanted one of the classic basses, so it gave me a good chance to get a two band preamp, more like the classic Stingrays, as opposed to the three band preamp that I have there. So I got the bass and I played quite a few in the store. Um, they're all pretty similar, but this one in particular felt much better than many of the other basses that I tried. Uh, neck felt great, finish felt great, not too heavy, so I went with it. Um, after playing it at home, I did notice a little more low end than I'm used to with my USA. Not that bad, not a game changer. But I did see online there was some uh, discussion about parallel wiring versus series wiring. And with a simple flip of some wires, uh, you can make this pickup to be wired, I believe, in parallel as opposed to series. So parallel like the original Stingrays. I may have got that wrong, but uh, I think that's how it is. So I did go into the preamp and I did change the wiring and I love the way it sounds. Uh, I wasn't thrilled with my soldering job and of course if there's anything that's questionable and I need to use it on a gig I get a little worried like is it gonna hold up is the soldering joint strong enough is it gonna break so I actually think it was probably fine but it gave me an excuse to spend some money on another preamp and I did a lot of research on preamps uh, but where I went with more of a classic styled stingray I did a search for a preamp that was based on the classic original preamp, well, one of the original ones, maybe not the very first one. And I came up with this, which I'll show you a little bit more later. Uh, looks a little more robust than the preamp that's in there now, although the preamp sounds great. Uh, I liked the wiring, the hand wiring, and uh, I'll tell you more about this in a second. This was made in Serbia. Um, and purchased through eBay. So uh, the guy is super communicative and really nice and supportive online. He asked me to take some photos. I said, you know what, I'll take some photos. I might even take some video. So I'm not a video guy. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'll try to get this video out there in case anybody's interested in this preamp. So um, yeah, what I'll do is uh, we'll get to this later. I'm assuming you can see that. And uh, I'll just play this bass. This is not as it originally was. This is the bass switching the wiring from series to parallel. Uh, Mark bass combo amp. Another video on that one. This is new to me. I love it. It has a tweeter that's always on. That takes a little getting used to. Um, but we'll get to that later. So here we go. Uh, there's a detente on the treble and bass. So volume full up, bass and treble at detente. used to it. Um, you hear a little high-end noise. That happens with actually most of my basses through this tweeter. Um, yeah, that's it. While I'm here, just in case you're curious, I'll plug this one in. Thank you. 
All right, so here's an update. Took this preamp off the stock plate. They were knobs that were held on with these split shafts. No tension. I'm noticing that these are solid shafts, so I'll have to figure that out. Um, probably have some knobs that will work on that. Um, so I love the robust wiring. I'm sending an email to the guy now. I believe that this is a ground and that it goes to the bridge ground. These two I'm gonna cut and send to the lines that I left in the base for the battery box. And that leaves these two, which I can only imagine are for the pickup. But before I go any further, I'm gonna message, see if I can get an answer. Finally finished. Cheers. So here it is. Um, some trickiness to it. You'll see I don't have the knobs because I got different knobs. I actually haven't gotten around. I probably have them. I just haven't put them on yet. Um, so again, two band EQ volume treble bass. Uh, no detente, as in the last preamp where there were detente. So I'm going to turn everything down, except for the volume. There we go.
Thank you.